Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Purpose. Today I am here with Leah Wheelick, um, and we are very excited to talk about some of her really exciting passions. Um, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple of my passions. We have a little fun older game called uh, Trivial Pursuit. You know, I was going to say that. <laughs> I was actually going to say that. None. Wait, really? <laughs> I was like, this is a trick question. <laughs> um, so today, I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple of my passions. Um, the first one being a cancer camp that I volunteer at every summer. It's for kids with cancer and their families, and it's located on Raft Island, and it's called Camp Agape Northwest. And then the second passion that I'm going to talk to you about today is marketing, and that's what I'm majoring in and what I'm pursuing as a degree. You already kind of talked a little bit about your passions um, as of right now, but um, we also went to high school together, um, and that's kind of how we met. Before that, we actually met through our piano lessons and recitals and stuff like that. Um, so I guess one of the questions that I have on here right now is, so what are some of your passions that you kind of had in high school? Um, and where are they now? And like, how have they stayed with you throughout college? And kind of, what have you done in terms of pursuing or keeping some of those passions that are maybe hobbies now? Yeah, so um, when I was in high school, like you said, I was really into music and I've played piano again, like you addressed. And I still do play piano. Um, and I also use it as kind of a stress reliever thing, I think. It's really nice to just, if you're really overwhelmed, just sit there and kind of forget about everything that's going on. So currently, you're at Western Washington University, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you're studying marketing. So do you want to tell us a little bit about um, how you chose that specific emphasis? So when I was in high school, uh, I started volunteering at the camp that I told you about earlier, Camp Agape Northwest. And then through that camp, I met tons of different people. Well, as I was going through the organization, I kind of realized that a lot of the things that I was doing, calling people, asking for donations, uh, was all parts of marketing. It was definitely the right path to take because I realized that there are so many more opportunities in it than I once thought. Yeah, I've, I've been kind of fascinated with, with marketing for a long time. I've always kind of wanted to get into it. Um, I thought that I would maybe get a minor. There's so much in marketing. Like a lot of it is sales, especially for musical theater people like yourself. I think marketing is really important because you're not only learning to market for a business, but you're learning to market for yourself. And so having to sell yourself, especially to a director. So you're currently doing some really cool work with this organization. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about like what your job is and how you, you talked a little bit about already how you found it and how you were, I guess, invited to be a part of it. Yeah, so Camp Agape Northwest is, um, it used to be run by the Greek Orthodox churches um, in the Seattle area, and there are four of them, and now it's its own 501c3 nonprofit. What I do right now is a lot of their marketing and communications. I post all of the things that we have on social media. Um, yeah, it's all really cool stuff. I think it's really helped me learn a lot of what marketing is. So um, we are coming to the end of our time together. And as is tradition now, I'm starting a new tradition. <laughs> um, we are going to play a game. So today we have a little fun older game called uh, Trivial Pursuit. So I am very interested to see how old these questions are, especially the ones where it's supposed to be like current events or something. Modern, yeah. Yeah, modern. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what those are. Is it like? Northern Island. Oh, are they all places? Uh-huh. Oh. It was geography. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Who played Fletcher Christian in the 1962 film, Mutiny on the Bounty? Um, yeah, I don't know. What country claimed the first U.S. warship sunk in World War II? What country? 
I was actually gonna say that. <laughs> Why did you say that? There I don't know. I know. I was like, <laughs> I was like, probably Germany. <laughs> what mountain erupted to destroy Pompeii? Vesuvius. Yeah. Mount Vesuvius. Okay, well you're already winning. Who composed An American in Paris? Oh, I should know this. Oh, yeah. Who discovered Victoria Falls? Victoria Falls reminds me of like where the old man in Up is trying to take his house. <laughs> Charles Atlas. Who is that? I don't know. I have no I have idea. I have no idea. I've never heard of that person before. You must have gotten a harder stack. I think so. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely got the easier I I got the easier questions. You get all the weird ones. You know, know after we know the answers, things make so much it sense. It makes so much more <laughs> sense. What happened to the Archbishop of Krakow in 1978? He was assassinated. He became Pope John Paul II. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How many eyes does an earthworm have? None. Good job. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is a trick question. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen eyes on an earthworm, so no. I'd assume they don't have any. Yeah. You never know. Uh, yeah. This has been another episode of Project Purpose. Thank you so much, Mitch, for having me. I thought this was really fun. And I think your podcast is super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in this week. We enjoyed having you. Join us next week for another episode of Project Purpose. Sweet. I guess that's it.